Gavin Stone takes it for the Dodgers. His last time out, he was excellent. Took a perfect game into the sixth inning. Pitch with conviction. Dave Roberts said from pitch one. 3-0 to Nemo. Marte on deck. And that's ball four. So a four-pitch walk to Nemo opens the afternoon. There goes Nemo. Swung and missed. The throw by Austin Barnes is not in time. And Nemo has the rare stolen base, just his second of the year. One and two to Marte, and that gets away from Barnes, and over to third goes Nemo. So a walk, a steal, and a wild pitch, and the Mets have a runner at third with nobody out. Stone fires 2 2 and strikes out Marte with that cutter that you're saying is going to be so important to him. Francisco's been on an 11 straight. Last night broke a 4 4 tie in the seventh, hitting a two run shot into the pavilion in right. What a just a beef up moment it felt for him. A lot of confidence. And Francisco hits one out to left. That'll get the run in at least. Oscar Hernandez can't get to it and it hops on the warning track and over the wall for a ground rule double. Nimmo comes in to score and the Mets have a quick 1 0 lead. So Lindor with the home run last night and it looks like the floodgates are starting to open. Facing the Mets. Grounded a third and a routine play for Max Muncy. Alonzo's out number two. And here's DJ Stewart who had a big night last night. And that's inside ball four. And so the second walk of the inning by Stone. And it'll continue down to Jeff McNeil. And Jeff lays off ball four. Gavin Stone pitching himself into a real mess here in the first inning by walking three. But he can limit the damage to one run if he can get Bader. Who over the last ten days has the best batting average in the major leagues. Chopper to short. Betts has it running throw to finish off a long first inning. More than 30 pitches required for Gavin Stone. And now Jose Buto gets the start in Los Angeles. He might have, well, found himself in this starting rotation after just a beautiful start against the Royals. <laughs> That's a good swing and a base hit past Lindor. Into left center field. Betts turns on the afterburners. Heads into second with a leadoff double. Takes the walk. And the first two have reached against Buto. Table set for Freddie Freeman. Well, last night, Freddie Freeman had what can only be characterized as a extremely rare 0 for 5 against the Mets, which makes you fear more for what he might do today. Same thing I said about Betts. Fear the superstar who takes an 0 for the night before. Sharply hit and through into center field for Freddie Freeman. Early work, extra work, pay it off in a tie game just like that. A smile at first base, but not as big as normal because he knows he hasn't been there. And so that is more of a relief after this ball goes up the middle. And a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. This is away, and the bases are loaded against him. So five walks combined for these two rookie pitchers in the first inning. After Stone limited, limited the damage to one run at the top of the inning, Buto trying to do the same. And he struck him out. Three strikeouts in the inning for Buto, and he limits the Dodgers to one. The three-one. Just misses. Ball four. That's the third walk issued by Buto, and he gets Otani to the plate. Three and one. This is just the opposite of Buto's first two starts when he was uber aggressive, ahead in every count, He's behind almost every hitter so far. See if he comes on glue down one here. Instead, it's ball four, and it's back-to-back -back two out walks from Buto. He's walked another. He's walked three in a row to load the bases. Dodgers left him loaded in the first, trying to avoid leaving them loaded in the second. 2-2 two -two coming. And he struck him out. Hernandez strikes out for a second time, and the Dodgers leave them loaded again. Three and two to Joey Wendell leading off in the fourth inning. He had a base hit his first time up. And he strokes that one out to left field, and Wendell is two for two. As Stone sets, Wendell goes. Narvaez shows bunt, pulls back, throw to second, not in time. Stone with a 2 2. Narvaez pulls it to second. Diving stop by Gavin Lux. Up to third goes Wendell. Well done. He gives a little ground so he can get to this ball. You see how he's diving backwards? And it is that defensive highlight that's going to end the day for Gavin Stone. He just didn't have it today. Ran one to Brandon. And he hit by the pitch. And now the Mets have runners at the corners with one out. Here's Marte 0 for 2. He has struck out and grounded into a fielder's choice. Runners at the corners. Line in the center field. A base hit for Marte. And the Mets have regained the lead. Wendell comes in to score. Starting Marte drives in the run. That's his fifth RBI in the last three games. And the Mets are up 2-1 to one in the fourth. Buto 
has settled in to retire seven in a row, but he's got to deal with Otani and Freeman. Leading off this fifth. And golfing one into the right field corner. That is a fair ball and a leadoff double for Shohei Otani, who's perfect today. Two walks and now an extra base hit. Grounds this one to first. That'll advance the tie and run to third. Productive out. A 2 2 is on the elbow. He hit him with two strikes. Buto at 95 pitches through four and a third. He's done for the day. Michael Tonkin will come on. And now runners are at first and third for Max Muncy. Muncy goes after the first pitch, flies it to right center field. Marte's there. The game is tied as Otani comes in to score. Max Muncy with a sacrifice fly that evens it up. There goes the runner from first on strike three. It'll end this inning, but the Dodgers take advantage. This ball four and Zach Short walks as a pinch hitter and gets the bunt down. Nicely done. And Nimmo gets hit again. Tie game. Two runners aboard for Starling Marte, who gave the Mets the lead with a base hit the last time he was up. Marte unloads one to center field. Out and back to the warning track at the wall. It's out of here. Starling Marte with a three-run homer to greet Ryan Brazier. And the Mets go back in front. It's 5-2 to two New York. A four RBI day for Marte, his fourth home run of the year. And the Mets now have a three-run lead in the sixth. Home run was a bomb. Pajes locks in Barnes against Michael Tonkin. And Pajes gets hit by the first pitch. Smack to center field. Base hit Gavin Lux. Top of this order has led the charge. For the first time, they're coming up with some uh, some traffic. 3-1. Ball four to load the bases for Otani. And for a third time today, Rick Monday, the Dodgers have him loaded. And he got him with a cutter. Big strikeout for Drew Smith. Two men down. Bases loaded left in the first. Bases loaded left in the second. Can't happen here again in the sixth. You just can't. On this 1-1. He goes up to get it, swats it to center field, and it ducks in for a base hit. Pajes into score. Lux into score. Two out, two run single, Freddie Freeman. The Dodgers are within one. Another payoff. Ball four to load the bases again. High wire act. Couple hour high wire act to this point. Bases loaded, two out. And he pulls one on the ground. Alonzo sprawls to get it. Smith late covering out. Alonzo dives and makes the play himself. Alonzo picking up for Drew Smith, who did not get over, and makes the diving play. He bolted to the bag, dove, and got the force out of Muncie at first base. Gave up a hit and two walks. Stranded the bases loaded. Rounded down to third. Beatty with his first chance. Out at second. McNeil to first, not in time. Ball just not hit hard enough to turn two. He said now they're calling interference against Outman, and it's going to be a double play. It's probably not going to be a double play at any time, but he hits him above the knee and with a little bit of a roadblock. So it is an automatic double play. Get a little debriefing from Dino Ebel of what really they were calling, and I'm sure. James Outman talking to Dino and the umpires about the initial contact was with the bag. I just couldn't control my momentum. Well, we can only judge where you contact the middle infielder and you can't contact him where you did. I'd say with eight RBIs in the last three games. And Starling hits a slow ground ball for Betts, charging, firing, low throw, can't be handled by Freeman, and Marte is safe at first. That's throwing against the speed of Marte, rushed it. There goes Marte, the pitch is low, the throw to second by Barnes, not in time. Such a big insurance run at second. One and two on Lindor. And he hits one the other way, that's a base hit. Marte around third, he'll come in to score. Francisco Lindor with his second RBI of the day, and the Mets head to their lead. It's now six to four in the eighth. So a huge test for Edwin Diaz being brought on in the eighth inning with the tying run at the plate in the person of Shohei Otani. Trying to tie it with one swing. Instead, it's ball four. He's got his third walk. Here it comes. Freeman takes ball four to load the bases. The Dodgers have left the bases loaded three times in this game. And Diaz trying to make them do it again. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Came inside with the fastball. 2-2. Two -two. He struck him out. Edwin Diaz puts the eighth inning to rest. Bottom of the ninth inning at Dodgers Stadium. The Mets up 6-4 to four and are three outs away from taking the series. Reed Garrett. It's a big ask right now. And 
Outman takes strike three call splitter at the knees and Outman is caught looking and that's the first down in the bottom of the ninth. Strike three called. He got him looking at a slider. Reed Garrett with back to back strikeouts and the Dodgers are down to their final out in the ninth. He struck him out and the ball game is over. Reed Garrett strikes out the side in the ninth for his first major league save. The Mets win their sixth in a row.